don't have to plug anything in the back side because there's no gas. So that being said, the first thing we need to check on, make sure you have the wire running the right direction when you go to put it on the spool in the first place. Take off all the little pieces off the spool carefully. Make sure you pay attention to how they came off so you can put them back on the exact same way. Depending on what spool you use, you might need a different piece or two that the machine should come with, or you might need to remove a piece because it doesn't fit these small spools because the holes are different. Anyway, make sure you have that wire roll in the right direction. If it's not, it might cause some wire restriction. The next thing you need to know is running into your drive rollers. Gasless flux core, like we'd mentioned, is hollow. It's tubular. It's got the flux on the inside. Tension it down too tight, we can end up pinching it and breaking it and then we just got to run all that wire back, pull all the bad stuff out and it's really annoying. So we got to make sure we have the right tension. Not only that, but we want to make sure we have the right rollers. These are called knurled rollers. Say it with me, knurled. I know it just absolutely messes me up just the way it's spelled versus the way it's said versus the way they look. They're knurly and they've got little grooves. They got like teeth on them so that you don't need as much tension and it can still grab and pull. So we're gonna swap out those rollers to some knurled rollers. And you'll notice that these rollers have different sizes on them. So one says 0.8, one says 0.9. That's gonna be your 030 or 035 size wire. Some machines will say that the number needs to be facing you and that's the side that you're using and some don't follow that rule. After we move that, you'll notice on the inside of this machine, you have this little cable that runs up in there. That's your polarity for your MIG gun itself. You need to actually swap that. This uh, self-shielded flux core, gasless flux core, whatever you want to call it, that's usually what I like to call it is self-shielded. You have to switch those polarities over. Right now the gun is sitting in the positive terminal. We need to put it into the negative. So we'll undo that, move it to the negative. And now that we've got everything that we need from wire, all the way through our drive rolls running out. Now we got to get to the MIG gun. First thing that goes on the tip of your MIG gun is going to be your insulator. It keeps and protects your consumables, so you want to make sure you have that on there. Otherwise, you'll have live things so showing, like the fuser could be showing if that insulator isn't there and it could arc up on something and we don't want that. Our diffuser is here to help hold our contact tip and our nozzle in place and that's where the gas would come out if we needed gas. The most important thing is we have the right contact tip size, the 030 size tip. If we had an 035, it'll weld, but it welds a little bit crummier because it's like not staying in contact with the tip all the way around thus giving us a really poppy sound. You can also run the nozzle. The nozzle's there to protect all those consumables as well and help direct the shielding gas if we had any. We're gonna opt to running it with the nozzle today just so I don't tear up some of my consumables. And then we have our ground. We have our MIG gun plugged in. We changed it to negative on the inside. So that means we do not wanna plug it to the negative on the outside, but we have to plug it into the positive so that we're running DCEN. That's everything you need to know about running this wire through your machine. 